down to the quarterfinals from Northern Ireland and UCLA, Annabelle Wilson. She'll play Catherine Rao of California. Rao on her way to Princeton to play for the Lady Tigers. USC standout Brianna Navarosa's had a big week, knocking off, among others, Rachel Heck. And she's facing Canada's Monet Chun, who will be a junior at Michigan. From Japan, Saki Baba, one of three internationals remaining. Opposite Lauren Lehi, who plays college golf at New Mexico. And in the final match, it's Lee Chen at 16, the youngest player remaining, and a Stanford commit against fiery Bailey Shoemaker of Florida, soon to be high school senior, who knocked off superstar Amari Avery in the round of 16 yesterday. Four matches today, semis tomorrow, then the 36-hole championship final on Sunday. Eight terrific young athletes trying to join the likes of Babe Zaharias, Patty Berg, Beth Daniel, Lydia Ko as winners of the U.S. Women's Amateur Championship situations. And let's join Steve Burkowski. Good afternoon, Rich. This was a little bit earlier at the seventh, the par four. Oh, and how about that shot? <laughs> bit of good fortune there. Seventh hole, most difficult on this golf course. And these two saying, now, nah, how about a couple of threes? Let's move on and remain tied up. And that by Lexus, the official vehicle of the USGA. Yeah, good chance of getting there in two. 205 to the front, wind right to left. Okay, what have you noticed today from Catherine related to her back? Anything? Yeah, I've, I've seen her um, kind of shake her, shake things around, you know, do some stretches. So, so they both played it pretty well. This uh, overall is downhill. It's got some left to right movement. May straighten out a little as it gets close. Oh, she loves the line. And that's a really good putt from that distance. Easy conceded birdie. Annabelle now looking at a, a healthy six footer coming back for birdie to tie the hole or she goes down for the first time this week. Clutch. Big, big putt. Does that, did that <laughs> every time I play with her with the driver for sure. I feel like, Kay, you're at the point in the match where it's been so tight. The first one to really make an error here could be very costly. Got to hit this solidly, not let it balloon high. And, oh. and this going very high, wind slapping it down. Oh, oh wow, way under clubbed. Now the third for Rao. Yeah, same distance, but this time a clean lie. Oh, and that was executed really well. Great recovery. Yeah, just needs to do everything that she can to make bogey. Her opponent, Annabelle, does not have the easiest putt. Yeah, this is a putt that's going to have a little movement from right to left. Uh, I like playing a little bit less break and, and hit this firmly. Yeah, something about like that. Really good two putt. And that skinny little part of the green. She looks like she's got a pretty lofted club, but she's going to try to knock this down a little bit and aim to hit a 60-yard shot or so. She has 85 actual yards to the hole, and that was beautifully done. That's just what she wanted to do. <laughs> Keith is applauding. That's what he, I said to Catherine. I said, good staying in it, good, good second sh bunker shot there. She goes, yeah, bunker shots like that are a lot easier when you have a good lie. And I said, yeah, certainly so. But boy, I'm impressed with her fortitude to stay in the hole and now forcing Annabelle to have to two putt to win. Oh, it hit a bump. That'll Didn't seem the, to affect it too much. Yeah, that'll get the job done. I mean, to think that this match has been all square almost all day and he's been ready. You want to line up right at this flag, utilize the wind. The wind's going to push this well to the left. And this may have gone too far. Wait oh, for it. Gonna, yeah. She's going to get away with play. it. Oh, Come look at this. Play. Keep coming. Is Keith, that... Keith is fired up. <laughs> Keith's like, exactly what I told you to do. <laughs> I kind of like this play. Um, <laughs> She's not bothered about that USGA flag to find her golf ball. That was put down there by the spotter. <laughs> yeah, she goes, where's my golf flag? I said, I'm not sure. I think it's up by that flag. Yeah, this may be the now. end of it. She didn't want to. Yep, she doesn't want to hit another one. 
Wilson so it is conceded. Yeah. Up. With confidence. Yeah, tremendous young talent out of Japan. Japan has produced a lot of superstars in the last handful of years, and the pipeline of Japanese golf is very strong. You have to think the Olympics, Steve, certainly Whoa. helped with that. Yeah, the, the game truly is growing all around the globe. And Slow putt up the hill should kick it pretty good right. Look at how much break she's playing here. It's a convex slope on the front of this green. It really protects the front left side. All in all, pretty well done. Oh, yeah. Her touch has been exquisite, trying to become the second Japanese-born player to win the U.S. Women's Amateur. Continue to apply some pressure. Yeah, she... She's played it. This is her third USJ event of the summer. Qualified for the Women's Open. Made the cut. Finished tied for 49th. She said she actually learned a lot by playing with the pros and watching how they approach the game. Lehigh could use one three down against Saki Baba. Yeah, it needs to get something going here. She said after a long day yesterday, she said she slept 11 hours last night. <laughs> after, after. But here at the ninth for birdie to win another hole and go four up Morgan. Yeah, and there shouldn't be a lot in this putt either. It's our beautiful stroke on the last hole. <laughs> Perfect. Get it towards the left side to a safe spot. So she looks like she might not be in that bunker. Oh, Look what out. a shot. Oh. And she's a... It, uh, and Lauren Lehigh could use this. Uh, I mean, uh, you'd almost have to think this is a must-make right here. Okay, well done. Good stroke. Now to tie the hole and stay four up. That's where now this putt just got a little bit longer. Oh, okay. And that's first one in. Can sometimes, or most of the time, put just a lot of pressure. That's Saki Baba. She's four up. Let's see if she can control the spin here. When she played in the Women's Open, she was really swinging 100% at everything, and that's one of the things that she learned from watching all of the other players. Look at this shot! Come on! Oh. Do that! Wow. wow! Oh, my goodness. It's not that hard a hole. But she learned to be able to control the spin on her shots and her turn, and as evidenced right there. If Baba gets it up and down here at 14, she will win the match. Ooh, almost another chip in. Taki Baba, the 14th. She's been so impressive and solid today. Oh, wow. And that has, geez, that has a lot of pace on it, Rich. For par at 14 to extend the match. So she wins the hole, sneaks it in. And it's finally catching up with her. Lehigh at 15. Yes. Got to win them all to the clubhouse. That's a good start. Lehigh's not going away yet. How about wow. that three? What a putt. Lehigh's got to... Got to make it to extend. Not to be. Saki Baba, the 17-year-old from Japan, moving on to the semis. 
back on the tee. I actually had fairway wood in, but very fortunate to not go in the bunker. Pretty straightforward chip shot here. Forward. Yeah, she was walking in yesterday with the putter in hand. Walks that one in with a nice little one from off the green, Morgan. And Jimmy. Yeah, terrible, right? Because it looked like it stayed in the fairway, just barely trickles in. Tough to get her stance. Shoemaker had to lay up with a wedge. She's got probably 60 yards yet. She might have her third, but she's got a she's got a really long club here, Jim. That's not a wedge. Well, she's 132, and that's an aggressive play. Wow. If that gets up, it could kick to the right. That was impressive. Stay. She was able to get that much on it with that lie and that stance and the lip. Oh, oh, wow. oh man. I mean, Shoemaker five, ten five. <laughs> Jim saying they made them. This field, the eight players have played this hole in seven over par. Billy Shoemaker, second to play here at the par four. Yeah, 182. Chin had terrible line rough. Hit it over the green and some deep stuff. That's where go. This is just leaking out to the right, but with her opponent being long, that should be okay. Should come off that slope. There you go. Right on bit. cue. Good job. You can see. That would help. Looked a little bit better. Is it going to break to the right? Tried. Tried to. Goodbye. Another miss left. Shoemaker four, Chen five, Shoemaker three up. Be safe without any spin. Go. 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 That could be really good if it comes back. Yeah, it's going to end up on the back side of that slope. Going to roll away from the hole. It's just such a small target there. Yeah, she sure does. Right at 98 yards, very similar shot the shoemaker has. Got to carry it up there. What have you noticed, Jim, in her demeanor as she's three down out here today? Yeah, and it's going to get worse as it comes back off the slope. Her wedge game just hasn't been as sharp today. What? Wow. That did go. She pushed it maybe a little. In some trouble now. All right, Jimmy. Inside right edge firm. Something like that. Shoemaker four, chin five, shoemaker four up. The button. She's yeah. four down. Yeah, she needs something special to happen here. 167 back into that win. A little bit on the down slope. It depends what the kick does. Yeah, does does what you'd hope it would do. Almost goes. Trickles by about six feet or so. She hasn't been able to get anything to go in today, but I really love her putting stroke. I love the way she keeps her head down. And yards right back into the wind. She's four up just anywhere on the green. That's what she's trying to do right here. I'm holding my breath. Uh, she was for a second. She'll be okay. Yeah, I think they know. Official Bailey Shoemaker moving on, a five and three win. Neither of them had their best stop today, but two really talented young stars. We go 1985. Navarosa getting ready to go here at nine. Yeah, 147 in this whole location. Really important to carry the front lip of this bunker. You can use the ridge behind this hole. With her opponent plugged in the bunker, just important to get this on the green. Or three and a half feet. I think she was begging <laughs> that to get up. I do not. I think she maybe thought she had plugged it in that bunker as well. Told you she was buried in the face of that bunker. She tried. Yeah, I mean, if you were playing stroke play, you'd take an unplayable there, but catch it solid. She caught it solid. It's headed right, though. Oh, goodness. In one specific spot, there's a slight mound that she could use that would propel it, but... Yeah, that's about all she can do. And even now, I mean, we just saw Annabelle. It's very positive, and I think they're a good duo. Even after losing a few holes in a row, we saw her hit a great shot online. 
She's she's pretty calm. Yeah, Julia, as you called, that's concession here. Pull wind coming out of the right, pretty strong. After a nice layout, just looking to keep this slightly left of this hole. Kind of like that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. had some pace. She thought she you had have it. You have a Rosa five, Chun five, Chun is two up. The Monet Chun now two up and first to play here at 14, Julia. 167 to this whole location on a slight down slope. Really gettable hole today where the, the hole is located. This is headed a little right, but she can use that slope. Love that action, Morgan, right yeah, there. Yeah, you can see her holding off that follow through to try and keep the ball down. 153. She likes to move the right to left. It's on a good line. Beautiful okay. answer. Yeah. Good look for Birdie here after a really nice shot. 12 feet. Should move right to left on her. Small undulations throughout this putt, though. That just stays out to the right. So could really use this to get to just one down. She's put some really good strokes on the last two putts. I know she didn't make the one on the previous hole, but good stroke nonetheless. Good yeah. one there. Absolutely pure. All the way back in a very thin neck back here. Only five paces left and five paces right of this hole today. Trying to control that with the wind there, Julia. Yeah, did a good job of that. Excellent shot. Yeah, Gutsy yeah. and tied. Heck of a match. And she got to see Brianna's ball go a little long, which I think is helpful when choosing a club, but this is well left. Just when you have the door open. Big down slope. So she's almost got to fly it all the way there and put some spin on this ball. Oh, what? That's exactly what she did. What a shot by Monet Chun. Oh, yes! <laughs> what a shot. I will say, my cousin, Michaela Schultz, who's her teammate, said she chips in once a round. That was what Michaela called. Difficult shot here, but she's been pretty good with her wedges today. It's a little similar to the 12th, Julia, where it's on a small little plateau. Needs to judge the distance properly here. Oh, and does she ever. What a clutch shot at a perfect moment. And Monet could, but she knows she has to answer. She ever. That is a resounding answer. Like you said, she doesn't want to go play another hole. Oh, wow. Oh. Yes. Let's play some more golf. So for the third time this week, Rihanna Navarosa is going to try to win a match in extra holes. This is headed just a little right, but might kick up that slope. Uh, it's going to find its way into that bunker. Oh, boy. Terrible spot, too. She did earlier, Julia. Exactly. She had about 12 feet for birdie here earlier. She's in a very similar position, just 10 yards closer, 127. This is headed towards the left center, but good play. Yeah, really smart play. Got plenty of slope there. This Jim showed us just a moment ago. What a shot. Mm -hmm. Got to chip it in. Oh. You're good. That was a good hit. And she conceded. Good sportsmanship right there. And so, a great match. Monet Chun over young competitor will remember, though she doesn't go to the semis. Brianna Navarosa had a tremendous week.